So I've been wanting to comment about this since it happened. I just haven't had time lately because of a change in my work schedule. And I've been preparing for a very big trip that's coming up very, very soon. Um, I want to get a, at least one video out before I go on that trip. And then hopefully I can, I can get another one out afterwards. But uh, I'll play a few seconds of this clip here because I'm sure everybody has seen it already. I'll just play like five or ten seconds of it and then I'll, I'll add some of my commentary. I need help. I need help. I just wanted to meet you. I'm unwell. I call my I hope that you will find the help that you need. My God, I want to know him better. <laughs> so of course we all hope that David gets the help that he needs I've read a few pieces about this incident and I've seen some other commentary some other videos and I want to focus on something a little bit different than what I've seen already and I'm sure you all want to hear something a little bit different as well um, I'm going to take David as saying that he wants to know when he says I want to know him better uh, let's let's interpret that as he wants to, to know God better and he sees Jordan Peterson as a a sort of gateway to that knowledge um, I know he could just be interested in Jordan Peterson there are many people who are they just want to know Jordan better and so I don't want to go down that road I don't think that would be a productive road for the rest of us here um, but let's assume that David wanted to know God better when he says I want to know him better I think what many people overlook and what I don't hear very often uh, when people talk about um, converting to Christianity or being a Christian and uh, having a relationship with God and I, I've mentioned this many times in my channel about how um, this relationship with Jesus is one of the most ingenious and important things that we can understand and have it's not just about understanding it, it's also having it but where does that leave the person who perhaps is new to Christianity and unfamiliar with these with this territory um, they might be scratching their heads thinking well how can I have a relationship with Jesus and I think it's a very good question and one that every Christian should think real hard about and struggle with um, but there are some answers to it I think um, something that I've learned and that of course many people know and have learned themselves is that Jesus is in the sick and the unwell perhaps Jesus is in David already and he doesn't even know it Jesus is found in the poor in the hungry in the naked and so on now it sounds it sounds very virtuous to say that and it sounds very nice that you can find your God in in the lowly places of the earth and in the lowly places of man in the thieves the murderers the prostitutes and all of that that's where Jesus is but to actually go there and have a relationship with a hungry homeless person or someone who is mentally unwell who hears voices who responds to them who acts out and has tantrums to have a relationship with that person uh, that's that's a whole nother thing that that's not that doesn't bring you so much joy it bring it's a lot of hard work and it's it's a labor and this is something that I don't think a lot of people are interested in they're not interested in the Jesus that is in the sick and the person you have to take care of they're interested in um, the Easter egg Jesus the Easter Bunny and and the Christmas tree Jesus where there's presence and joy and happiness and fun but I, I would have to say the real Jesus is in is in the impoverished of body and, and mind and spirit and it's relating to those people that you start to find the Jesus in you 
the spirit in you and you start to the two pieces sort sort of come together and now when they're coming together you start to be more um, this is where you're going to find your meaning you're going to be more yourself the self that God created you to be and this is again something people turn away from with all their with all their might and all their power they run away from who they really are you'll see a lot of the new age movements find out who you really are you know with the, with their different with their different things and methods but the i think the truest method uh finding out who you are who god made you to be is to go meet god and someone else in a sick child in a in a, a hungry person someone who needs some some kind of assistance in their life and help them now you're finding jesus and you're finding yourself in that pursuit and you're finding the christ in them and the christ in you and this may sound slightly different than what you might have heard in various places but this is my my take on it um, and i'm still building my take i'm still understanding things every day a little bit differently a little bit better but uh yeah so with this with this whole liberty university event i think it's very important for us to understand that that encounter with david was an encounter with god and i think it's going to be very important in jordan's life and in david's life and in everybody's life who's who's tangentially involved in this even at us as viewers we get to bring out this this idea that we're meeting Christ in, in those who need us and need Him. It seemed like everyone I knew was dying. I looked in the mirror and I was on fire. Somebody yelled out, hey, stop, drop, and roll. I said, that might save my skin, but it won't save my soul. That might save my skin, but it won't save my soul.